then we asked him what his thesis was on. The one that was stabbed. Well, a substitute teacher out on Long Island was dropped from his job for fighting with a student. A few weeks later, he returned to the classroom, shot the student unsuccessfully, <laughs> held the class hostage, and then shot himself successfully. This fact caught my eye. Last sentence, Times. A neighbor described the teacher as a nice boy, always reading Catcher in the Rye. This nitwit Chapman, who shot John Lennon, said he did it because he wanted to draw the attention of the world to Catcher in the Rye. And the reading of this book would be his defense. Young Hinckley, the whiz kid who shot Reagan and his press secretary, said, if you want my defense, all you have to do is read Catcher in the Rye. <laughs> I haven't read it in years. Well, I borrowed a copy from a young friend of mine because I wanted to see what she had underlined. And I read this book to find out why this touching, beautiful, sensitive story published in July 1951 had turned into this manifesto of hate. I started reading. It's exactly as I had remembered. Everybody's a phony. Page two, my brother's in Hollywood being a prostitute. Page three, what a phony slob his father was. Page nine, people never notice anything. Then on page 22, my hair stood up. <laughs> Remember Holden Caulfield, the definitive, sensitive youth wearing his red hunter's cap? A deer hunter's cap? Like hell it is. I sort of closed one eye like I was taking aim at it. This is a people shooting hat. I shoot people in this hat. <laughs> this book is preparing people for bigger moments in their lives than I had ever dreamed of. Then, on page 89, I'd rather push a guy out the window or chop his head off with an ax, then sock him in the jaw. I hate fist fights. What scares me most is the other guy's face. <laughs>